e ma nle ni beyen o dile loko e siku dede asiko yi hello everyone it's adirunke again i hope your day is going well today i'll be addressing weaker items and their symbolism what they are first of all and what they may symbolize in general or when they're in a certain condition the symbolism of weaker items what are weaker items to start with what is weaker it's a method of weaving that is used to make products such as baskets and variants of baskets so it's a it's a descriptor for such products in another sense it could be what you would call the materials or the material that is used itself pliable twigs oxford dictionary says typically of willow but among the yoruba people we use raffia since the raffia tree the you know the palm tree is more popular <laughs> i don't know if we have willow trees i don't think we have like the north american type willow trees i haven't done any research but i don't and even if we have them they're not everywhere the way palm trees are the way raffia trees are anyway pliable twigs typically of raffia plated or woven to make items such as furniture and baskets so that's weaker the images here should paint a picture as to you know what i'm referring to and before i proceed <laughs> honor to whom honor is due right i was thinking how did the idea of weaving the idea of wicca came to be and i realized that birds have been you know doing it for almost since the beginning they take twigs and uh, dead leaves and small sticks and whatever they need and they they build nests with them the word wicca has scandinavian origins but it doesn't necessarily mean that the idea of weaving like that came from exclusively from the scandinavians we yoruba people have been doing it for <laughs> several millennia now so i i don't know way before you know european contact way before so i would say the idea came from birds so i'll give birds the credit there used to be a time when i always wanted to know exactly where what came from or exactly wh who came up with an idea and when and when the and what the back story is and everything but now i just accept my fate that i can't know everything so i i don't know exactly how that i that idea you know came to be but if i'm going to give anybody the credit i'm giving birds the credit they've been doing it i mean they don't have two hands like this that they can work with to make it more elaborate but with your two tiny <laughs> i don't even know what to call them they i mean look at this that's excellent for a bird so yeah I'll give birds the credit. So what weaker items do do we have? We have so many. I'll start with the more popular ones. There is the basket. You can call it agbon and you can call it akwere. Agbon, akwere. You'll be referring to the weaker basket, the basket. Agbon or akwere, akwere. And this is sort of the process of how it's made. There's a video that I found on your bow mode do as instagram page it's not the best quality but it shows you how it's made notice that it's made from the bottom up <laughs> because that will come up later when i start to talk about symbolism but essentially this is the process and it's not the only method of making it there are different styles too but they almost always they always start from the bottom when they are weaving these baskets so this is the process uh, based on the response that the person who posted the video gave somebody in their comment section. It didn't take this man an hour to finish. So you know, you're good at it. You're good at it. It's a kind of isha or no, you know, uh, work that requires craftsmanship. So this is this is the finished product can see is just tidying up the ends at this point so yeah and once they're done with weaving them the weavers this is what they look like i mean now we have plastics and you know they are more elaborate show glasses and you know 
But back in the day, they were everywhere in the markets. They were the main uh, tools for tr transporting or displaying wares, especially when they're in large quantities like this. Akbere is what they're called, or Agmo. And this is what they look like in the market, as you can see. I mean, if you still enter Yoruba market today, I can bet that you will see them almost everywhere, depending on what is being sold too. So if you go to a clothes market, you know, I wouldn't expect that you see them, but if it's a food market, especially, definitely <laughs> you will see them everywhere. In the background picture, these women are selling palm nuts with them, tomatoes in this this picture so point made you know they used to be relied on mainly for for trade for trade transportation and for trade display another weaker item that we use we used we still use is the panshara it's the broad tray panshara now they are this <laughs> they are small plastic bowls that they use for you know so that it's a bit more organized in the past as opposed to these smaller plastic plates there would be the smaller pancharatu they would be like small trays as well so it would be small ones rather than or small wicker bowls as opposed to these plastic ones or they would be displayed the way that it's displayed here so yeah you separate them you lose space just like this but this is better <laughs> for somebody who wants it to be a bit more organized because if you sell like this and there are so many people trying to buy from you you may not be able to monitor it too closely and somebody may shortchange another pile <laughs> may steal from another pile so they want just one pile of peppers they may like <laughs> use their finger to take from another pile so that they have more in their own pile <laughs> and uh yeah you're shortchanging the next person who wants to buy from the pile that they're taking from so definitely this is better from a common sense perspective um, you know it's a lot more different now than it was i would say we're a lot more populated for sure so yeah, it's just better to do things a certain way to evolve with the times. But yeah, these trays are called banshara and they're used for displaying wares. Sometimes they were used as covers for akbere. You can use them however you choose. You can use them to cover. You can use them to display, but they were mainly used for display. Banshara, you put things in piles like tomatoes or dried fish or prey fish or what else would you be selling with the panchara just items that are small like that you would use them for so this is another picture of panchara being used as opposed to the small plastic trays that i showed you earlier there are these iron ones too they've existed for a long time as well the next one is the panshuku panshuku and uh, i'll get there soon as far as symbolism is concerned but they were a lot more special than the ones i've talked about they were like your traveling boxes especially when you were elite but not necessarily if you could afford them you would put food in them you would put clothes in them jewelry gold you know when gold became more sought after as far as fashion goes uh brass jewelry money you know they were like traveling boxes they were special for the people who weren't elite or who couldn't afford panshukus they would have taken a large wrapper large piece of cloth you roll you take your other clothes that you want to transport you fold them into that large wrapper and then you take the four ends and then you tie it so you can either put that large wrapper with the clothes in it on your head or you can put it across your shoulder or whatever is comfortable for you but you transported your clothes with a large piece of cloth you you fold them into that large wrapper you tie the ends so you take the four corners you try you tie it so that the other clothes are protected within that large one and then you can put it on your head or on your shoulder or transport it however you like or you could have used the regular <laughs> aquaric for transporting your clothes that was fine too but what's special about the panshuku is it has a lead 
that's just like the, this is a, a very elaborate panshuku you can notice that it's made more special somehow than the regular akbere akbere they are not meant to really last forever they don't last forever they start to like <laughs> disintegrate after a while when you use them a lot so but the weavers would have taken extra time and extra care with the panshuku because they were not just for oh throw the basket around or throw they were made with traveling and storage in mind if you're going to a far place and maybe you're uh, an elite member of the society you're moving to another city or whatever you would have put the lead on it they were a little bit more reserved more special than the regular aquare that everybody just uses and throws around you take it to the farm you take it to the market you take it everywhere these ones were designed for one with a lead uh, then two for more special uses than everyday use that's banshuku banshuku the abebe the abebe is the fan and of course <laughs> considering it was uh and it still is a tropical environment he would have needed that definitely so abebe abebe is what this is called another weaker item is the agu the coop the chicken coop the way that they were made or the way that they are made because they are still very much in use you start out like you're making the regular aquare basket but then the way that you end is different so earlier i i showed you although it wasn't the best quality i showed you how the aquare was made i'll also show you how the agu is made this one you can call the agu as well but it's not like the traditional agu the traditional agu, they make the basket, they finish up the basket, but they make a small opening. You can put the chicks or the chicken inside through that opening and close it up. This is the opening. The way that it's made, you can move it up, move this part, this oval or circle part of the coop. If you shift it up, you can put the chick or the chickens or the baby ducks whatever other kind of animal would be that small that you can put there you can put them in through that opening and then close it up so that they can't get out chicken coop agu so this is the process of making them i got this video from internet archive i will put the link in the description so that you can check but this is the process you start out like you're making the regular basket you start from the bottom in this video they're mentioning that it's made from palm fronds twigs from from the palm tree or from the raffia tree you start out like you're making the regular basket but then you pull the ends together like that to make a coop as far as symbolism goes when aroko is concerned symbolic messaging if a suto <laughs> sends this to a woman who they've sort of proposed to or expressed their love intentions towards and that woman has said no and they sent the agu maybe with a few chicks in it as a gift most of the people would have had that audacity would be people who were fairly well to do who were comfortable if they sent this they tell their worker or their servant give this to this lady that i've been talking to and she has, she has been saying no it's agomiloma dia diegbe which which means you're going to be mine eventually like the chick or the chicken always hands up in the coop <laughs> they walk around majestically during the day and they would display and run around and feed around and but when it's time to sleep when it's night time many times they would even come home themselves and they would linger around the owner would know or they would know that it's cook time it's a symbolic uh, way of saying of communicating play around now you're going to be mine eventually again <laughs> it takes a level of audacity <laughs> to to send that kind of message depending on who the the lady is to and what her status is or, or what, especially what the person who's sending this message's status is if there's that factor in the scenario but anyway that's what that means as far as symbolic messaging is concerned is you're going to be mine eventually play all you want the other weaker item that i remembered almost instantly is the akete akete the at so again tropical region very sunny 
hot <laughs> you definitely needed this to cover your head from the sun you know especially when you were in the market and there was no shade they would make the ends such so that they are a little bit I suppose larger than what would be the size of your head anyway the, the, you know what a regular hat is i'm sorry i'm trying to over teach here but yeah to protect the head from the sun akete they are still used by the way for the market people who don't have like shades or any form of storage or most of the time they would have storage even if it's not a personal place to store their stuff it would be shared but they would have a place but as far as where they display their wares not everybody has shade so you use the akete to protect yourself from the sun any is another one another weaker item made from raffia you put those raffia materials together and you get this you you also use them as cottons so if you had a large house with multiple rooms and you didn't necessarily think it was necessary <laughs> so what am i saying to put doors at the entrance of each room <laughs> you would make the cotton vertical it would be like your cotton anyway with your drapes so when you want to enter a room you just move it and you pass through the more popular use would be for outdoor bathrooms you know, which was the norm you bathe outside so they would mold a place with clay traditionally speaking anyway they would have been made with clay those coverings and then the entrance where people would go in through and come out from would be covered with a vertical mat and you will put your clothing over that clay mold when you're bathing so that's a clear sign of oh it's being occupied or there's somebody there if <laughs> you were unfortunate that somebody took your clothes while you were bathing <laughs> yeah there there are jokes around that there are, there are even Surprisingly, more than they jokes about you bathing and somebody taking your, a person who is not well mentally taking your clothes, like you run after them naked. Cause at that point it becomes <laughs> who's really mentally ill between you both, you that you're running after the sick person naked or the actual sick person, you sort of become the same <laughs> at that point. You can't run after them because yeah it wouldn't make sense to people will start to question your own sanity as well so there are sayings and proverbs and jokes around that scenario but this would have been the the covering as far as mat goes you know typically you sleep on a mat even those who had beds they were molded as well traditionally with clay they're higher up than just laying them on the floor you know they were like the bed anyway you cover that with the any as well is that all no <laughs> not necessarily but the most popular ones are the ones that i've mentioned so as far as chair goes especially thrones for monarchs there was a way that they would have woven raffia with it to traditional thrones to make them more comfortable for the monarch to make sitting more comfortable for the monarch as opposed to just sitting on plain wood for long hours the chiefs they would have sat on mats on the left hand side and right hand side of the monarch but wicker you know was used for throne building as well making the throne comfortable for sitting yeah there are different uses you know but these are the more popular ones as far as weaker items are concerned so let's go to symbolism which is really the point of this video my wanting to talk about the symbolism some of what i'm about to say would involve a bit of misogyny <laughs> i should warn you but i have to tell you what exists my own sentiments and convictions aside some of these items especially when they're in a certain state represent something and most of those somethings are related to bringing women down in some regard ajadi apere ajadi apere if a woman is referred to as ajadi apere the person who is speaking is essentially saying condemned or ajadi agbon condemned basket ruined basket <laughs> whatever that is ajadi specifically because when the apere is overused the bottom 
<laughs> that is made first tends to be the part that starts to like fall apart even if it's not completely gone like this when you put stuff in it the stuff starts to fall through because the bottom is not strong anymore yeah especially when you're using it for transporting tomatoes items that can be weighty it's the bottom that tends to when it's made the bottom is where you start from as the crafts person but when it's ruined it's typically the bottom that gets ruined first or the sides but the bottom the the point anyway is to express that the person has now become useless they've essentially been run through been used i don't know why but <laughs> it's like the men tended to see themselves as like potential destroyers or destroyers of the female body so if a person, if a man has been with a woman, it's almost like you think the male body is destructive, <laughs> you know. So, oh, you've been with a, with a man, you're definitely destroyed now. <laughs> it's like, and I, I really don't understand it, why the male body was, I don't know if, yeah, I, there's a conversation to be had about that. If a man is with a woman, he destroys our body in some way. Like, oh, we are the men. We are the destroyers. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know what that's about. But that's the, the other side to it that people don't tend to consider. To stick to the topic, Ajadia Pere. When there used to be a lot of emphasis on virginity, that was around like the 1100s. I don't know what that was about. In in some families, they would even lay white clothes on the bed. It wasn't everywhere on the bed when the male and the female got married and they would have wanted to see some blood or some... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was about, but there was this virginity thing. I'm saying the 1100s specifically because of the people that started to interact with us at that time. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But yeah, there was a craze for she had to be a, a virgin. But anyway, if a, a marriage took place and the family of the male sent this or somebody in the family of the male sent this to the young lady's family, it was a, yeah, you gave us a, a girl that has been run through, that has been used. Ajadi, useless, used. What do you do with it anymore? Like if it's just the side that is ruined, so maybe this part starts to fall apart or the weaving starts to undo itself, then it's still okay, you can use it. But when it's the bottom, you can't cover anything with it. You can't put anything in it. What do you do with it? It's an intense <laughs> way of saying used run through what are we supposed to do with this so that's what the symbolism is somebody calls you a query it's very insulting in another context it could also be barren too cannot hold children if it's the just virtue thing then run through used but if it's she's already married she was in in perfect shape or whatever perfect shape is and she can't bear children if a person is sending them this or or necessarily holding this around them we are saying uh, you can't hold anything it's not any better than the former useless can hold children can have children what do you do with it i warned you that this was going to involve a bit of misogyny but useless that's what that means as far as symbolism goes and if somebody is called that it's insulting. Panshara, this one, broad tray. As far as symbolism goes, this is a for all or for sale or everybody can just pick what they want from it. In the media, in popular culture, uh, there's a song by Ainlao Mawura, if you've heard it. I'm going to try to sing it. <laughs> Pansha garanti ojo lao, pansha garanti ojo lao, ojero nure woko tumba. I want to dara ju eki ni won kwi. Ogbo, I want to dara ju eki ni won kwi. I want to awo le itesi. I want to awo le itesi. Ni gbati o bakala o ju. Mo unso, I want to ongun e bi e shi. Ti o bakwe won wa mo e lo ju. Won kwe e ni sisi. Won kwe e ni sisi inu re ndun. Oh, mara e gba. Oh, mara e ko. It's essentially like 
I'm, I'm going to try to interpret the song so that there's more context <laughs> to what I've just said. Uh, for those who are either fornicators or adulterers, there's an Islamic influence because he was a Muslim too. But anyway, Panshaga, uh, which could be the act of adultery or fornication itself, or somebody who is an adulterer or fornicator, remember tomorrow. Think and change sort of like stop doing that i want to that are you working in one those who were better than you what did they share you're not special anyway you were not our latest you also wear the latest things the latest designer and the latest like jewelry and the latest clothes and whatever but you back when you decide that yeah of course i'm going to do that what's the problem the people who are riding you like a horse <laughs> that's essentially what that is the people who you're having relations with when you call them in the future they'll just give you the stink eye like do i know you have we met is it was his way of expressing that these things don't last forever like those kinds of relations they don't offer any permanent peace of mind they tend to be temporary and you know they're essentially being used essentially you're getting paid for your services based on the money that you get and the whatever that you get you might be able to afford the latest things but these people would not necessarily offer you permanent support or comfort in the end when you're older and you need them they're just going to give you the stink eye like yeah that was a while ago that we had relations i gave you money we're done it's not love in essence and then the chorus that i just sang or the should i call it the bridge one way any cc no end they're calling you cc oh young lady and fine lady and gorgeous lady and that's making you happy. Oh, Marae Ko. Oh, Marae Ba. Oh, Maso Edi Pansharan. You don't know people from Lagos, from Eko. <laughs> and you don't know the people from, you don't know the Egba people and the Eko people. They will turn you into a broad tray. If you don't have a level of discipline and a level of say, uh, no, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> I'm not interested in that. If you believe it anyway, they'll just pass you around or you'll just be like a broad tray that everybody can pick from. Broad tray for all, you know, everybody can pick their own. Just lay everything out. This person approaches you they can pick from you they can have relations with you i know you already know you know what i'm trying to express uh another person comes they pick their own your time your energy you have no boundaries whatsoever you're just for the community banshara banshara that's the symbolic representation of that i don't know how this would be used as an aruku you know, I don't know what scenario would cause somebody to send this to another person. If it's not like they're selling it to them or they're giving it to them as a gift. I don't know. Based on a, sometimes even the conversation that you've had a person before they went away can determine what the interpretation of your message would be. So if you've had a conversation regarding Panshara and somebody becoming a free for all, like everybody can just approach that person and just be with them then if you send this to that other person they'll probably know what you're talking about so banshara for all not necessarily for sale <laughs> i have to be careful with this yeah especially in an era when slavery and all sorts occurred but you can just pay them for their services and you're good they're not reserved in any way you can just do your own banshuku is the special one of the lot so they would look like this they would have leads this one doesn't have a lead yeah, the, I don't know why I included this picture since it didn't, there was no lead. But yeah, with a cover, with a lead anyway, it used to look like this. And that means reserved, special. <laughs> As opposed to the Panshara and Akbere, Ajadi, Panshuku, reserved, special. And that's where this hairstyle came from. We shorten it to Shuku now, just say Shuku. <laughs> but the full name is Panshuku. And there was a time when it was really just queens, mainly queens anyway, that made the air style. <laughs> now it's for everybody, just like corals too. You know, there was a time when like not everybody could just put a, 
it, it may have been a matter of being able to afford it. You were either a monarch from a monarchical family or a chief, part of the monarchical council in some way, or you didn't necessarily have any monarchical title or connections, but you were just wealthy. That was when you could uh, wear red, especially red coral beads. So same with the with the shuku hairstyle. There are certain alaf of yours, <laughs> not just one, not just like any of the recent ones, but even from centuries ago. That for some reason they were just so attracted to this hairstyle. If you were as a woman, if you sought the audience of the of the king or the monarch of the king, and uh, you came to the palace with gorgeous clothes and the shuku. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you get very dirty looks from the queens if they see you. Because it's almost like uh, you're letting the king know that in case he's looking for another wife, <laughs> you're an eligible candidate. If you had some beauty <laughs> and you did the shuku, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get ready to get married. In Yoruba, we say, what better they put their feet on the woman like the woman automatically becomes their bride like even if they're already dating somebody or yeah you're, you're going to the palace with shuku with beautiful jewelry with beautiful clothes and you're beautiful <laughs> yeah t- tell your parents because you're you're suggesting that you're <laughs> you're ready to be a, 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 a king's wife as well yeah so that's where this uh, star came from pan shuku or shuku for short. Everybody does it now. You don't have to be a queen. Certain chiefs would have also done it too. Like, yeah, reserved, special, not for everybody. Even after the monarch passes away, there are certain things that they would even have to do for the woman so that she's able to marry again if she chooses. We're sleeping with monarchs. We're sleeping with controllers of the communities. Anybody else would be like a downgrade <laughs> type of thing. The essence is really just reserved special not for everybody out of most people's league if not everyone's league at this point except people who are also royal or have a level of power and influence just out of everyone covered protected special point made with the panshuku versus the panshara or the akwere especially ajadi akwere so that's the symbolism so in case you come across it or it's mentioned know that uh, just like always <laughs> many items tend to mean many things you see just a regular thing but when it's in a certain condition or is used as a metaphor for something yeah it may mean several other things than what it is at face value so if you have any uh, questions comments <laughs> contributions concerns <laughs> please don't hesitate to let me know the things that i've mentioned can definitely be addressed further of course i'd like to know what your thoughts are regarding any part of what i've mentioned and i i thank you for your time thank you for your support and i'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now but I never your man, and you never very bad. I did. Oh, you never very bad. I got more than that to you remember that Palado. Oh, you love Palado. Tell them after a me a tower. A Moduro, tell you to a carrier, take you a my lady, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.